So the next one is um, the last red one is our governor's reserve, um, uh, 2017. And uh, Baron asked a question about uh, the style. Um, and again, it's not a copy. So a copy of Bordeaux, even um, though we definitely look at, at Bordeaux for inspiration. Um, you know, we are not trying to copy or emulate any any region in the world. We're trying to do what's best for, for what, what, what the farm can produce. Um, the backbone of the wine is 20, um, no, I lie, it's, it's high, about 40, 50% Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, so Cabernet Sauvignon is, uh, there's, there's a reason why people say Cab is king. Um, now Cabernet just, you know, we've replanted the Cabernet vineyards over the last 20 years and uh, the, the stuff that's been producing now is really spectacular. So, so it's, it's, it's cab driven. Other variety that I also think is really showing beautifully here in the Constantia Valley is Cabernet Franc. So, um, yeah, so the Cabernet Franc component also increased over the years. So yeah, so Cabernet, Cabernet Franc probably makes up like 70% of the, of the blend. Um, Merlot, Merlot has lost a bit out there. So Merlot is about 20, 25%. And then it's like a splash of Petit Verdot. But it is the it is the best that uh, you know the best of the best you know the, of the sites that we um, that we select for the for the reserve. Um, we when we make the Pinotage and the Shiraz, we um, referred to it earlier. You know we try to rein back on the wine making, especially in barrels, to um, to show the personality of the varieties and um, you know that sort of fruit intensity of the of the Pinotage and that beautiful aromatics of the Shiraz. So we use only about twenty percent um, oak. Shiraz, you know, it's larger format, even less so. Um, but for the Governor's Reserve, you know, we played around um, with, a, with a new oak and tried to reduce it. It used to be 100% years ago. We tried to reduce it, but we found, you know, if you, if you, uh, if you, uh, you reduce below a certain level, the wine loses a bit of a, loses that extra layer of complexity. So we're about 80% new oak. Um, we only use French oak. We've tried other, other regions. We've tried American oak, European oak. But um, uh, but we uh, um, we uh, we'd be back to about eighty percent new oak and found that you know the, there's still a balance. Um, I think the cabernet gives really nice intensity, that typical black currant sort of you know, uh, fruit purity that you find from the cabernet is strong enough, so you definitely get the fruit um, balance with the, with the oak. But yeah, actually quite a quite a um, quite a high percentage of new oak, uh, French oak uh, for the for the governor's reserve. 2017 is still relative young. 2017 was a spectacular vintage. Uh, we've been very blessed. You know, we had a few good vintages in a row. Um, and then, yeah, we um, uh, we started earlier the year to re-release some of the wines um, and what uh, Lila and our CEO, John, calls the vintage vault um, to, to release wines, you know, 15 years later. And it's actually quite amazing. Um, uh, uh, you know, the Reds for Gustancha 15 years later, and the wines are beautiful. Uh, so yeah, we, we try to, we, you know, we select, you know, we select uh, vineyards that shows that, they, you know, the vineyards definitely have the X factor, and then we definitely give it a bit extra work in the cellar. So we definitely do a lot more work on extracting. So if you taste the wine, it's, um, it's, 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 it's got enough tannins. So it's got a, a quite a, quite a, quite a, a big um, a tannin structure. Because we do want this wine, you know. I think the wine is, um, if you want to have the wine tonight, um, uh, aerate, put it in the glass, just aerate a little bit, and the wine's definitely ready for dinner tonight. Especially if there's uh, again a lot of red meat, you can you can see there's a lot of red meat eaten here in in, the, in South Africa and the Cape. But um, but yeah, so I, I think if you just aerate it a bit, you know, the wine's ready for consumption tonight. That we have seen um, under perfect conditions, you know, these wines can last for 10, 20 years plus. So, uh, yeah, so really, uh, that's, yeah, we make it to you if you want to put it on. It's definitely um, a lot of life left in this wine over time.